بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن تبعهم بإحسان ليوم الدين All praises due to Allah We seek His help We seek His forgiveness And we send salutation upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Peace be upon him And all those who follow his footsteps Till the day of judgment I received a call from uh, one of the brothers uh, He contacted me after you know, uh, watching a couple of my videos So he... he thought to you know he can share with me his uh, story that what what happened with him and his parents so this brother called me and he said I want to like to tell you about my uh, parents both of them my mother and what happened to her and how she passed away and what I saw you know uh, in her and similarly my father uh, what kind of person he was and then how he died and what happened while he was dying so I said go ahead brother so first of all regarding the mother and subhanallah this lady Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put her into test throughout her lifetime so she got married late a little bit late at the, at the late age and then she got pregnant and at the last age she miscarried then again she is having sabr she is going through you know alhamdulillah and you know no he just believing in allah by saying why this is happening to me and why me and why my child and all these things so alhamdulillah she, she had sabr and she is carrying on with that sabr then she got pregnant second time after a few years and then also a couple of months and then the miscarriage happened again subhanallah now brothers i'm saying this to you it's very easy by the way and you are listening to me that's super easy you know but the one who is going through that it's not easy at all for that person you know especially that a mother when she will get pregnant and carrying the baby in her womb for a couple of months and then at the end something happened and then the miscarriage you you can know the the the, the situation and the trauma that she is going through and then again and then the sadness from the other side that you know i lost my baby then again having patience and the second time ha happened the same thing then the second miscarriage happened and again you know through that hardship time but alhamdulillah she was all patience and then the third time she got pregnant and she gave the delivery to the first baby and she was almost above 40 years old at that time so who's telling me now a story this boy you know the one who was got delivered third time was the first boy and he reached at the age of 20 you know and then subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took uh, the soul of his mother so he said then well this is what at the beginning my mother used to go and she is having patience and sabr and no no disbelieving in Allah no uh, you know just you know complaining and why me and all these things until you know she gave the birth to the first baby boy and then later on subhanallah she got paralyzed so you can imagine you know from one problem to another problem and then all the way being half paralyzed so I'm sure you know that those who are half paralyzed, how, how they are, you know, their, their eyes is, you know, a little bit tilted, their mouth is a little bit down, they cannot move their, their arms and legs and things like that. So this was the situation of that lady, the mother. And Alhamdulillah, she was having the patience, no complaining, no whatsoever. And Alhamdulillah, as a normal believing woman, a real believing woman. So the time came when, subhanAllah, she got really sick and she couldn't she couldn't you know take it anymore and she uh, died she passed away now the son is saying that subhanallah yani, we did the process and everything for the kafan for the ghusl for everything and we took her all the way to the uh, maqbara all the way to the graveyard and just before we do the process one of his friends said you know go and check your mother's face go open the kafan uh, the shroud and check your mother if she is the same one because normally people make mistakes at the at the place of the ghusl because this is not in the Arab country it was in one of the western countries so maybe you know they, they might take another body or something so he said just go and check the check the face so this boy went and opened that you know shroud and he saw that the mother is smiling in a different way he said my mother when she died at the time of ghusl she was normal and in fact her one side was almost down you know for the, the parallel uh, the, the paralyzed side 
you know, the, the lip was down, the eyes and everything. But subhanAllah, she said, the time when I opened the shroud and look at the face, the face was smiling and both lips were on top, like someone properly smiling. And subhanAllah, he said, I didn't notice that at even the brothers were next to me, the brothers who, who were able to see her. They, they were surprised that subhanAllah, look at that, you know, subhanAllah, wonderful smile on her face that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put. And she knows that, you know, where she is going, her final destination. So Alhamdulillah, they did the burial and everything. Now, then again, I said, you know, about your mother, like, you know, tell me about your mother, how, how she, she said, all I know about my mother, she's a nice lady. She has patience. She is not involved in anything, you know, like normal, unfortunately, many ladies and many women, they get into this, you know, backbiting and this, whatever it could be. So she said, my mother, my mother never did that. And she was having sabr all her life until when she was paralyzed, she never complained. And this was the ending. And subhanAllah, this yani, tells us all the ayah in the Quran. Yani, where if, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give the sabiruna ajrahum bi ghayri hasab. Those who just have patience with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know people go through different problems, different calamities, different you know, issues at home, at work, in the health, in the wealth. What, what could be? You know, Allah alam, everyone is going through. The only difference between mu'min and a non-mu'min or a not-Muslim is the mu'min, if he's a real Muslim and a mu'min, he will have patience. And he will say Alhamdulillah for everything. And this is the, uh, the truth of, of the hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Amr al-Mu'min, Amruhu Ajib. Yani, Ajaban li Amr al-Mu'min. I'm really, you know, wondered and I'm really surprised of the matter of a believer. Everything is good for him. In a good condition, in a bad condition, is good for him. In a bad condition, he will have sabr and say, Alhamdulillah, it's good for him. In a good condition, he will say, Alhamdulillah, it's good for him. But a non-Muslim or a non-believer or a Muslim by name, but who is not connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, you just go and, and poke him or pinch him, see what he will say. Why me? Why this is happening to me? And this and that, subhanAllah. And how many people, you know, you know and I know that, you know, these kind of people. Like, whatever, something little bit, you know, maybe a flight is delayed half an hour, he will make a big deal out of it. He will just, you know, act like, you know, the Yawm Al-Qiyamah is just took place. You know, and that this plane will never come back again. Subhanallah, just, uh, you know, giving you an example. And how many people are there? So, you know, it's, it's our choice. Either we have to act like a true Muslim and anything happened to us, we say Alhamdulillah for everything. Either we have sabr, if we have any calamities or any problem, or we have say Alhamdulillah for everything if there is something good happening in our life. So this is about that lady who had sabr and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the end, he, he blessed her with that beautiful smile. So I said, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, grant your mother Jannah for, for her patience and Alhamdulillah. So this was the son who's almost 20, 21 years old who was telling me that.